what's going on tonight guys checking uh checking in with you it's been a while at least it feels like it um getting ready to change the blades on the little x mark 30 they haven't been done for a while so i figured while i'm doing this i'll bring you guys along see how we do it check in with you got some other things i might go over i don't know yet see how the night goes right into it here these blades they've been on here for probably at least three weeks now um i don't change the blades on this little mower as much i think i've discussed that before um i don't use this mower as much as the other two so the underside of it i mean there's not really even anything too terrible to write home about on these spindles or up in the deck um i've been mulching a lot with it or not mulching sorry i've been uh bagging with it a lot more so i don't have as much stuff building up underneath it here uh, if you look i don't know if i ever did a video on this or not i feel like i did but i took that baffle out on the front actually i know i did make a video about it if uh if you're interested to see why i took this baffle out uh find that video on uh on the page and check it out I actually seen a pretty interesting article on instagram about it a guy up north uh canada area took his out and saw a huge improvement so i figured why not i'll try it but let's get these blades off here real quick Uh, that edge right there it's not terrible but it's definitely not sharp got uh, got the blades in the light here a little bit you can see a little bit better maybe um, that's the old blade there's a new one nice shiny edge but one thing to uh, point out look at how far back I am here there's the edge same place there these blades both sets they're just about done um i actually don't even know if i'm gonna have these ones sharpened again they're just down to that point to where it's just safer and easier to buy new ones so yeah i'm sure you saw it in that uh opening little clip but uh finished 75 hard a week ago a week ago today was my 75th day and uh just a quick recap it's probably one of the most difficult challenging things i've ever done it uh really tests you i know if you look back lighting's terrible um if you look back at the journey two weeks into it i twisted my knee had to go to the emergency room spent uh three hours in there you know the story if you saw the video where i had wyatt helping me could barely walk on it still push through about three weeks later i ended up getting super super sick that uh put me down for about a week and a half struggled along through that then uh you know just kept pushing through hit uh, about the midpoint and was really starting to get hard to stick with it just because that was about the time you know july 4th everybody's having parties then you got just hot steamy summer days where a cold adult beverage would really hit the spot um push through that then uh i'm gonna be honest with you when i come up on day 70 it started to set in that i was just about done with it and i started to get uh i actually started to get a little bit anxious um just thinking am i going to be able to stick with a lifestyle or a, a program or something like that that just changes you all the way around um happy to say that i took tuesday off from it didn't do any of the required tasks um just kind of a rest day 
then uh, last Wednesday I started phase one of the live hard challenge. Um, that's basically the 75 hard challenge with some other things thrown in. Uh, one of the most notable is cold showers. Um, I do have to take a five minute cold shower every day. Uh, I started off doing it in the morning, then uh, quickly transitioned to in the evening, like now, after a hot day at work. It, uh, it's kind of relaxing to get into a cold shower, but it's not relaxing for five minutes. Uh, I want to say that I'm getting used to them, but I am definitely not. It, uh, it sucks. But every time I'm in there and I get like halfway through it, it's like, you want to quit now? And I just think, no, you're doing this to make yourself better. Don't give up on yourself. And that's how I push through it. But then I quickly jump out and grab a towel um, and wrap up. But just wanted to give you guys an update with that. Like I said, completed 75 hard. Then uh, started phase one of the Live Hard program. Call me a child, but I just found the funniest screwdriver I've ever seen. I call it the, that's what she said. When you thought it was going to be bigger. Alright, so those are done. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Not drop the mower on my foot. There we go. Alright, blades are done. Didn't take too long. About 10 minutes total, I think. Um, he said, just doing this one tonight. The other, other two I did last week. And I've only cut, I think, twice with them. So, no need to change those ones out just yet. It'll be later in the week. But, uh, I don't know if you can tell or not, but did get a new camera over the weekend. Got, uh, something that's a little easier to manage, carry around, walk with, strap to yourself, than, uh, than my phone. So, hopefully the picture quality is a little bit better. Not saying that my phone didn't do a good enough job using it, but this gives me another, uh, option for an angle. Obviously, with everything going on, I can strap this camera to my mowers, strap it to string trimmer. Heck, we might even try to strap it onto the handle of a chainsaw this winter. But uh, that's it for tonight, guys. Thanks for stopping back by. We'll uh, catch you on the next one.